Hello, I want to welcome everybody to this Meaningful Use Core Measure training video. This is on Measure 14 of 17, the Med Reconciliation. The objective is the EP who receives a patient from another setting of care, a provider of care, or believes an encounter is irrelevant should perform medication reconciliation. The measure is the EP who performs medication reconciliation for more than 50% of transitions of care in which the patient has transitioned into the care of the EP. The exclusion for this measure is any EP who, has not, who was not the recipient of any transitions of care during the EHR reporting period. So now I'm going to hop on over into EHR so I can show you how to meet this measure. Actually, I think I already have a... So you look up your patient and choose them. Go to intake. I already had this visit that I was working on. Make sure that your specialty and your visit type is always selected. For ophthalmology, you can select that it's established, a new, or a consult or post-op patient. But you want this, this is what really lets them know if they are supposed to be receiving a transition of care, a summary of care. New patient, established patient. So this is really important that it's automatically defaulted to established patient, but that you select that it's a new patient if it's a new patient. So from the medication module, this is where you're going to document the summary of care received. So here you see right here, summary of care received, you would select that box. And this box will be checked on encounters for which your practice received a summary of care record for the patient from another provider. For example, you would check this box if a patient's referring doctor faxed records to your office. So for the manual reconciliation, once you've selected this box, you're going to hit, hit Reconcile. And for manual reconciliation, you would make sure that this is selected right here. But I just want to back out of this one second. If there's no medications so that your provider gets credit if the patient's not on any medic medications, make sure that you click this box right here, no medications. Even if there are summary of care or transition into care, make sure if there's no medications so that your provider gets his credit that no medications is selected. So again, we're going to go back into Reconcile. You're going to make sure that the manual medication reconciliation is completed. Completed with who? Either the summary of care document, the patient's care medication list, or the patient's medication supply. I'm going to do it based on the summary of care document. Who you confirmed it with? The self, the patient, the daughter, the father. I'm going to put self. And here you're going to look at your medications. Here you see the Adderall. You can verify these one by one. I do want to point out that you cannot make any changes to the medication module from here. The, um, if you need to make any edits to the patient's medication list, you need to go to the medication module. Edits to the medication list cannot be made from the reconciled pop-up. So here you want to look and ask them, have you taken one capsule by mouth every day in the morning upon awakening? There's a couple different ways that you can review this. You can select and, and review them one at, one at a time. Remember you have this drop down if they've never taken or whatever, you can do that. Or you can select here, review adherence, make sure you select how they took their medication and put here, over here is review taken as directed. And then again, you see that you selected this box when you first went to the medication module. Here the summary of care was received. It's automatically checked, save and close, and your provider has received their credit. You can also reconcile electronically, and this compares the two data sets. I would recommend this more for when we... Um, 
go to EHR Direct Connect, which is coming soon. The patient would have to be eligible, and I also recommend doing this from the medication module. So here you would check their eligibility. This is a test patient, so you're not going to have any data to compare it to because they don't have insurance, real insurance. And remember the data um, goes over what's come in electronically versus what's in your medication module. You can compare the two different data. That's not going to do anything because there's no but you would select reconcile. This is what's in your EHR. You would compare it to the imported items. You can make your changes. This is really important. You have your drop down that's keep, stop, or delete. Over here is going to be import. It's going to be add, import. Down here is where you would see your changes. Your reconciliation history would be here. Your view, this is where you, over here, when you're going to have your um, reconciliation, you would see your imported information right here, and it would be blue hyperlinks that will take you directly to the um, specific module or medication system that you want to go to. But this is a test patient, so that's not available. I did do a video in 8.3 that shows you the entire um, electronic reconciliation process that you can view. It's on our intranet and also on YouTube. But either via the electronic or the medication module, your provider, as long as you have clicked these two buttons, either the transition of care or the summary of care, your provider is getting their credit. If the patient, again, is currently not taking any medications, ensure that the no medications, that's this box right here, is selected. This can be documented, documented from the medication module or from within the templates in NextGen KBM. So like again, like I said, make sure that that's marked so that your, your patient gets their credit. And that concludes this training video on the Medication Reconciliation Meaningful Use Stage 2, objective, Core Objective 14. If you have any questions, please feel free to email the help desk. Thank you so much for watching.